Hello, and welcome back to the Yuki Show. I have a returning guest, despite what I said last episode. Yes, apparently some people actually like to be playing a Pinko, which personally I'm happy about. And that is why Pinko is back for episode 2. Today we're going to be continuing Solar Boy Django, or Boss Kai, The Sun is in Your Hand. Okay? You, you don't. <laughs> don't you have like a script for this or something? Well, I kinda just wing it, honestly. Uh, why am I letting the credits play? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. I kind of just wing it. Yeah, I kind of just wing it. I apologize in advance for not recording as well. Bullet tie! The sun is in your head! I apologize for not continually recording. A lot of things have come up, but... And I wanted to wait until next month to continue again. However, why wait when you can get it done now? You know, that's a clear sign that you're serious about something if you're doing it now instead of waiting. Anyways, let's continue. Um, okay. I'm trying to remember how to play. Alright, I don't remember how to play. Oh god. Don't oh god me. Small okay. cave. El Tinko, I sense darkness, nothing big, but Django, this is the city of the dead. Ends of eras are interwoven here in Istra Khan. Close enough. The undead you defeat can slip through the time fabric and recover. The journey will take us through dungeons like this one. We will have to pass through many undead dungeons, through many times and many places. Each time we enter an undead dungeon, the traps and devices will be reset, and the undead will be back. You must not lose heart, even when surrounded by danger. Understood? Got it. We'll need this. Taiyo! Alright, let's go. Uh, what is this? Okay. Thanks for explaining nothing. Oh right, I thought I was going to leave at least one on, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Shoot, I forgot they could just... Outside. No. No. You're actually pretty good at this. Yeah, I know. It's natural. And you're also pretty cocky. That natural too. Um, new rule on the Yuki show: <laughs> the guests don't speak until their lines come up for their characters. I 
don't hear you saying Tayo. Master Otenko. Besides, I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, the walls. You are so fucking stupid, don't laugh at me. Oh my god, you're... Wow. You were cursing in the videos now, demonetized. We're... whatever. Okay. Letting your attitude show. What are... these gourds I just got? Warp outside dungeon, we start our, uh... As you guys can see, Yukiru is extremely abusive to me. Hmm... That kinda makes sense, but like... It's like, what's the point if I can already do it, you know? And she loves to ignore me as well. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. She ran on through. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. I saw the one over there. Otenko. Otenko. Django. This blue door appears to be locked. There must be a key somewhere for this door. Find it. Got it. Healing. I am... Okay, you see these little crystal things? I am using them to heal instead. If I don't have to use items, I'll avoid doing it until a boss fight comes around. Unfortunately, I've been getting my butt kicked a little more than, uh... The norm, so finally, that was not as much as I was hoping for. Oh, Tenko! Looks like you found a key, Django. Wait a second, that blue key—that was made by Immortal Hands. If you leave the dungeon, their power will weaken and the key will evaporate. <clears throat> that blue key can only be used inside this dungeon. Remember that. <clears throat> you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Tenko. Okay, just cut me off. Django, with the blue key, you can probably open the blue door. Stand in front of the door and press the A button. With the blue key, I can open the blue door. I do not write the material, okay? Yeah, you wrote me into a trap, though. Tenko. Tenko, we're locked in. Django, take care of all the enemies you see. Yeah, no, I kind of figured that. What else was I going to do? Hello. 
C minus. Looks like an exit. Taio! This will do. Use this warp magic square to pass through the dungeon freely. Stand in the middle of the warp magic circle square and press the A button to warp. Use it as necessary. Okay, cool. At least they gave me my health back. You have to do your parts too. What parts? I my character doesn't really do. You just you just said Tayo. Oh, okay. Tayo. That's weird. Uh, uh, that's uncomfortable. I mean, I do my Tayo. So you gotta do yours. Gate of the Dead. Should I read those too? Cause I mean. Kinda have the narrator role, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Sure. Spotting me did not help you at all. Hmm. Maybe you should play stealth and espionage games. You seem pretty good at the entire concept of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I got really into the game. Um, yeah, I'll look into it. I can hit from a lower level. Interesting. I remember the sun finishes them in just about one strike. Another blue door. Which means I need a key. Botanko. Botanko. Hmm. The wooden box is in the way. Django, you could probably push it. No. To push these movable blocks, face the blocks and hold down control pad. Thanks. You're also pretty quick, like with your fingers. That can be interpreted the wrong way. Uh. I will take it as a compliment, though. Wow, now I get the help. Okay, when I don't need it. Easy. I didn't walk you into that trap. Is that a sword? To disarm, trap, defeat the sword. Okay, 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 okay. What happened? Okay. Is it? Whoa, whoa, okay. What? Can I deflect them back at the sword? Mm, it does not seem that way. Please don't give me a C minus. Oh, you got a C plus that time. That's improvement. Shut up, Keika. Star one solar gun lens. 
I thought that was my part, you know, to read the narration thing. It's... I am sorry, everyone. Me and Keiko are constantly at ends. Store solar stores energy in the solar station. Cool. Wait. So I cannot I cannot use it as a weapon. That's what it means. Okay. I think last episode I actually had it on two, but I will st leave it on one for now, and do two after the next boss. Ancient forest. Ancient forest. Okay. Thank you for that. Otenko. Otenko. Django, be careful. That's a clay gold. A soulless statue made by ancient magic. Looks like it's in the service of the immortals now. When golems spot an enemy, they roll into a ball and attack. Don't let them catch a glimpse of you. They'll hear you if you so much as step in a puddle. Be very careful. Uh, it's a good thing that's how I play. That means they will not hear me. Whoa. why there are trees. <laughs> okay, as you guys can see, there is a reason why this happens between me and Kay. Ah. Nice focus. Thanks. Well, that's a little hard with the way I play. Uh, because you're constantly moving around? Yeah, makes it a little crazy. You, you okay? You tired or something? I'm waiting for you to read it, Mr. Narrator. Wow, okay. <laughs> Carved on a sign in the forest. Those without breaking power shall not pass. I mean... Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna let you do it next time because I... It's not a tanko, and it just feels weird. It feels weird not speaking as a sunflower. says a lot to me about your character. Okay, but how are you gonna get- oh, that's how. Dang it. Really now? Interesting. I didn't know I could make them crash into each other like that. I guess you learn something new every day. Taiyo! Uh, your Taiyo needs a little work, but... Not bad, not bad. Shift. You're pretty fast, but I'm faster. 
you are really good at tooting your own horn. Like, you have one hell of an ego. You play Smash with the tag Pride. And do you want to talk about ego? You are ego. I don't believe I sound like that. seem to be a reason for me not to. Yes. Thank you, Grammar Nazi. Tarp. To disarm, trap, and defeat the all golems. No. Ah. Fuck that. How many? Okay. Jesus Christ! Okay, now I will actually heal because that hurt a lot. And I am not trying to lose. That one's a little tough. Right. Hey up! I like that, I like that gas you did there. C plus player every day. It's weird. It's like you're not getting a chance to fight any new bosses. Yeah, I know, right? It's just a whole bunch of mini dungeons. I was thinking the same thing, but. Not gonna 100% the game. That's you, Otenko. This must be an immortal's dark seal. You must defeat the immortal who controls it to continue onwards. You know what? Sure. I'll go back and do... What's over here? Unless they're the same things. What? Oh, right, you know what? He said if I go out, then I have to restart, so I'm not doing that. I'm just going to continue onwards, I remember. Besides, it's boss time. The sun is in my hands. Blood Rush. Blood Rust Mansion. Time till sunrise, 6 hours and 24 minutes. Time to sunrise. I knew you were gonna do that. Tenko, I will summon the pile driver. Taiyo! Right in my ear, dude. What? I said that was right in my ear, dude. This is the Luna. Solar gun lens. Got Luna, solar gun lens. That used to be the Moon Beauties. She came here. No. It must be one of the Count's traps. My solar sense tells me where there are mortals. It tells me there are mortals around. This is an immortal dungeon. Stay alert, Jango. 
Yes, Master of Hango. Right. Tenko. Dark, isn't it? Dungeons are full of dark areas, where it's dark to see. Enemies may lurk in the shadows. Check with the R button. Hold down the R button and use the control panel to look around. You can push away the darkness with the sunlight, or a solar lamp, but still. Be careful when moving in the darkness, Jenko. Django, you won't get the treasure unless you think before you act. Move the boxes with care. You can't drag those movable boxes. If you make a mistake, just leave the room and come back. When you re-enter, everything will be the way it originally was. If by chance you can't leave the room, use the Fool's card you picked up in Fog Castle. You can start over from the beginning, but that card is for the defeated. Use it as a last resort. Done. You see that? I only looked at it for a second. I feel like the puzzle was made for preschoolers, but congratulations. Use the OK. Oh, Tenko. Django, that's a solar lamp over there. Hit it with the solar gun to turn it on. Wow, oh, you actually made yourself useful. Good job, Master Otenko. Crap. Only one way I can push this out. I'm not gonna lie to you, I really thought there was a trap around here somewhere. Like when I ran over to the treasure chest, I thought I was gonna like fall through the floor or something. It's crazy. Oh, Tinko. Django, there's an undead over there. A guard. Knock on the wall to get its attention. Press the A button when flattened to hit a wall. It's a useful technique. Try to master it. It's one I've already been using. Oh, Tinko. That's a solar station. It automatically stores solar energy collected by your solar sensor. You can transfer energy to your gun whenever you need to, even at night. The number above the solar station shows how much energy is left. Hold the A button when in front of the solar sta station to transfer energy. Use it wisely. Fantasies will come true. I guess you mean my immortal fantasies? This 
one down. I'm not a fan of spiders. Blast spider web with sunlight or light from your gun. The red ones are poison spiders. Watch out for their poison. Hmm. I guess I killed the last one. Didn't realize it. I was expecting more darkness. That would have made this harder. That seems dangerous. store. Doesn't look like there are any movable blocks. Maybe something else. Yeah. Alright, gotta do that more. Tail! Yeah. Eh, I don't know. Gotta get used to it. Part of constantly moving. There he is. Wait. No, they respawned. What? They respawned. East wing roof. Okay. These birds, though. Ow! what kind of birds they are. You can if you want. Just know I will not indulge in your fantasy. That was a warning shot. Mm -hmm. I never shot, but he was in a match. I don't remember the like, last the lyrics of the song. Outside of the chorus, I really don't remember much of the song. Thank you. Next, next, thank you. Next, next. Thank you. Next, next. Courtyard. Cool, I have a way out. You really do just breeze through this game, that's actually pretty impressive. Thank you. Next, next. You couldn't resist, could you? No, I couldn't. You set me up for it way too well. 
But no, really, I do appreciate the compliment. You're very much welcome. Keep your eyes peeled, though. For... Ortenko. Ortenko. What is it? A code? Is there a sum somewhere? Maybe numbers can be added to find that sum. Experiment a little. Use the A button to move the levers. One, two, three, four. According to the sum, the sum is adding them all together. To my knowledge, so that would make it ten. Unless there's something else I'm missing. I don't know. According to the sum, I, you, you do math. What, what's according to the sum? Something, Master Atenko? We can agree the sum is 10. How do you see it? How, what? How does this see it? It's, the sum is 10. we've been here before. Django, the plants in this courtyard, aren't they in a pattern? I bet it means something. Use the R button to look around. But it's like... Uh, 
plants in the courtyard pattern. Okay. Let's figure this out. Um... I literally got nothing at all from that. Plants in the courtyard. Well, there are three hedges here. That's a bit of a stretch. Is that really where you're going with this? I... There's... Kega, I... I don't know what else to do. Okay, there are three hedges there, there are four hedges here. So three, four. And there's one hedge here. So let's go up three, four. Uh, no. I'm trying Mastro Tinkle, I really am. Oh, I see. The hedges, right? Right over here? No. No, that doesn't tell me anything. Three, two... Four... Maybe it's the sum of the hedges. No, I already did that. Let's do the sum of the hedges, okay? Three, five, nine, fifteen. This is 16. Okay, this is way too high a number. We're already at 16. You know, you have to run back around and then do this. This is not the way it's supposed to be done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is not it. This is just, it's not it. is the oh, it's like the highest possible thing it could be. Okay, when we get around here, Otenko stops us. It's not the tiles. He referenced the plants. I like you breaking this down, Detective Yuki. So, um... One... Okay, three, two... Now... I 
do not want to be one of those people. Who like, go to the door and literally put in absolutely every single, like, possible guess. I want to look up what some means, but I feel like that's cheating. I thought some was just you add two numbers or a few numbers together. Just simple addition, but... One has to be the last number, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. figured it out. Three, four, one. 
Watch this. I am watching. Thank you for patronizing. Dango, the plants in this courtyard. Aren't they in a pattern? I bet it means something. Use the R button to look around. has to be the first number. Like... This is actually ridiculous. First number. There is no convincing me otherwise. Really? This is gonna be dumb, but I don't know what else can give me a hint here. And that did nothing. Okay. Um. Wait. Wait a minute. I think I get it. Deja vu. Three. Two. Four. And then there's one over there. It just went 3, 2, and it worked. Turn over the days and enter the time order. Oh, journal. Woke up on the 17th. Stroke of the bell. Had a relaxing dinner and left the house two hours later. Okay. Took an hour-long stroll to the library and read a few books. The new day came, ate a snack an hour later. Okay, hold on. Played with the pigeon for two hours in the park, returned, cleaned for- I lost. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. I gotta start over. Woke up on the 17th stroke of the bow. Um, five. Had a relaxing dinner and left the house two hours later. Seven. Took an hour long stroll to the library and read a few books. Eight. 
578. The new day came, ate a snack an hour later. 5789. Because 7, Played with the pigeons for two hours in the park. 578911. Returned, cleaned for two hours. 578911. Broke my fast with blood for three hours. Or. And then at last to coffin. Same old diet, same old routine. Five. Whoa. Excuse me? Okay, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, five, seven, eight, nine, eleven, I think. One of them was one, and then five, seven, eight, nine. No, I was about to just run on all of them, and just do it that quick. No, I'm actually going to do this. Seventeen. Two one. One, so let's do twenty. New day. Wait. Oh my god, I just got it. Okay, I understand now. Okay, 17 stroke of the bell. So this is like... Can I see 7? 17 stroke of the bell. No, the bell is gong, that's like... Midnight, so 2. 2 is the first one. Because 17 stroke of... Whatever, the bell is gone. That's midnight. Then two would be the first. Hour long stroll. New day. Which ate an hour. Okay. Played with the pigeons for two hours in the park. Returned and cleaned for two hours. Broke my fast with blood for two hours. And it lasts for a coffin, blah blah blah. Okay. So. Gong. Two. Um. One. I think. Two. Four. Returned to five two four five. I am so confused. Okay, that was a mistake. Seventeenth gone. Dude, that's... Okay, that's supposed to be six. I'm wrong anyway. Okay, let's...
having the stroke of the bell. Left the house two hours later. Hour-long stroll to the library and read a few books. Stroke of the bell, hour long stroll to the library. 18. I already started with 6, so I wouldn't. Unless it's 1. Okay, let me see if it's actually one. It is not one. Stroke of the bell. What, like two hours? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, it makes sense now. It's. I'm just literally starting from the number seven. Seven, nine. This. Wow. Seven, nine, ten. Wait, I, I, I feel like I miscounted. Seven. Seventh! Seventh stroke of the bell. Seventh. Not seventeen. I can't breathe. Oh, it's not too late to start over. I hear they have special classes and... I can enlist you. I can talk to a few people, pull a few strings, you know. The Yuki show will be a hit after that. It will be a very special show. Please don't talk unless Otenko's talking. Seven. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Seven, nine, ten. Wait, no. Seven, nine, ten, one. Three. Five. Eight. Seven, nine, ten, one, three, five, eight. Easy. Easy. It took you forever. It did not even take me half as long as the first one. Don't be a negative, Nancy. Besides Master Otenko, you're supposed to be guiding me, not talking smack. My apologies, Solar Boy Jenko. Okay. Traps.
people with the advantage who are fighting me in the dark, you do not perform very well. And now that you're facing me in the light, it's all over. Of course I'm fearsome in the dark, but in the light I am unmatched. Oh, Tenko! Can you feel that, Django? The dark sensation coming from beyond that door. It might be the Count. At last, Jenko. Couldn't be. Too early. Right? Oh, Jenko. Oh, Jenko. Hmm. We can't get through here yet. We need a heavy object. to go. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's rock. Oh, oh Tinko. A lever. <laughs> Lol, thanks. Wait. That door to shut? Oh, Tinko. Oh, Tinko. That weight switch is the key. Try putting something on it. That is not the purpose of that. Okay, I have to figure this out somehow. something. Oh. Oh, I get it. You're going to shoot him onto it. I sent some. Django, that's a ghoul ghost, commonly known as Vanibok. They're sensitive to sunlight. You can find them in the dark, but they disappear at a hint of sunlight. To light a room, you need a skylight, sunlight, light and dark. You can control light and dark by exposing the sensor or hiding it from sunlight. You can do it, Solar Boy Django. Well, they actually look pretty strong.
not as strong as I thought. Trembling. The whole room was shaking. What kind of lever is this? That's what I want to know. I feel like I walked into here way too recklessly. Whoa. Okay. at all. What? <sighs> Gotta let them separate. Kira, watch your help. Say, watch my health. There, health watch. Not my most elegant success story, but I got the job done. Tenko, you got a bomb, solar gun grenade. Grenades are a type of sub-weapon for your solar gun. The bomb explodes on impact. One blast is enough to defeat underlings. Bomb grenades can be shot across walls that are one block high. You can get enemies from behind a wall, but bombs make a loud noise when they explode. Be careful not to attract unwanted and unwelcome attention. Equip grenades from the gun screen and press the O button to fire. Unlike shots and spreads, there's a limit to how many you can use. Oh, oh Tango. Ready, Tango? Line up the wooden boxes from here. 
to here. Simple, right? You know when things are like so simple you overcomplicate it? That's what was going on there. Snatches of conversation can be heard. Moon beauty, without a hitch. How about you? Ah, oh, yes. The earthly maiden. Going as planned. Good. Guardians. The vampire hunter. I will take care of him. He's just a little boy. Well, it's up to you, Count. Dark War! That impudent little boy, acting without the Queen's orders. That moon child. As I suspected, the Count's inside. But who? No. Those, there's no sense in worrying about it. Jenga, it's time to confront the Count. Are you ready? As I'll ever be. So nice to see you, little hunter. As for the woman, she is not dead. She is the sacrifice we need to complete our plan. I can't keep a lady waiting. It's time. It won't be much of a battle, a young shrimp like you. Anyway, can't pass up a chance to feast on hunter, on fresh hunter blood. And the band begins to play. Ready for the musical of blood. Put more life into it. Yeah. Interesting. I can knock it back at him. Huh? Tayo! Interesting. Charge twice as fast. Oh, nice. 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 I'm pretty nice too. Oh, I can't. I healed, so you healed off of my H. Okay, no more of that. <laughs> 
Nice try. I told you, no more of that. Really? <laughs> hey yo! Jeez, take so much energy dealing with this guy. Yeah. Dang it. Come on, do it again. You know you want to. Ugh. It looks like she's all right. Hmm? This is Moon Beauty. You saved my life. Thank you. I am Otenko. Sorry. I am Otenko, messenger of the sun. This is Solar Boy Django, the vampire hunter. Who are you? I am the caretaker of the solar train. Mother Gaia's earthly maiden, Lita. That day the immortals attacked San Miguel when I was awake. The solar tree and I had been captured by the city of death. The solar tree? Infected by a Strakon? It's Stra... It has to, it has to be a Strakon, right? The immortals can't be that strong. Somebody must be behind this. I almost forgot. At the solar plant, under the solar tree, the Earth's energy is activated, and special solar fruits can be grown. I'm sure they will be of some help to you. Please come and see. Head north from here. Follow the road. It's not far. I will return and prepare the garden for planting. Keep the sun always in your heart. I think she'll be fine by herself. Who wants to try me next, filth? Yeah. Well, anyway, let's move the Count's coffin out of here. He is an immortal, a being outside the living realm. The immortals have never lived, and they can never die. In time, the Count will recover. Before that happens, use the pile driver to reduce him to nothing. Let's go, Jenga. Have we been to the passage on the west side of the first floor yet? Hey yo! That was actually a pain. West side. Oh, that one. Oh, okay, I think I know. West is left, and that was the one part. Yeah.
So why didn't you just keep healing? Um, after the second time they healed, I don't know, it sort of felt unfair. And that's why I was especially cool with like him taking HP back by sucking their blood. and do this skillfully. Shoot. Okay. I don't just want to like be brain dead and then like rely on my items me through. I want to use some sort of skill. Are you going to heal once you get to the file driver? Uh, you know what? Sure. I won't. Just means I'll have to play extra careful. Get the job done. That's going to be a fun hunt for him. Looks like I had Fighter on for a second there. Otenko, this place seems free of dark contamination. For now, the solar barrier. Taiyo! If you place the coffin inside this barrier, you will be held firmly by the sun's power. Use the solar barrier when you have to leave the coffin temporarily. Cool. Use the O key.
watch there be enemies here now. Just to make it harder for me. As far as I can see. Man, this guy is really fighting. I understand his life's on the line and everything, but you're making this really difficult for me, dude. Not going anywhere. Tayo! Now then, let's get to business. Master Tenko? Tayo! Jango. Activate the solar pile driver. Just the pile driver. Tayo! You get way too into that. But anyways, it's business. Of course it's hot. Thought I moved like just enough out of range. Really? At least he can HP regen. Because then I'd be in a bit of trouble here.
What? Okay. I am so ready to use solar fruit just to make this go by faster. Okay. I said I wouldn't use anything for help. Burn, baby, burn. Possible. Me? Expire? That blood of yours belongs to a solar child. You are truly his. Count! What have you done with Moon Beauty? Huh. That woman. That traitor. Our precious sacrifice for the Queen. She's in the far north, but you'll never make it there. There's no way you can break the seal of the two Dark Guardians. My job is done. Soon the earthly maiden will follow. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be waiting in the land of dead, son of my rival. Dark Guardians? Oh. Let me guess. Yeah, okay. I deserve that one for taking so long. The Dark Seal is gone. We can continue. Django, we must hurry to the Northlands. Alright everyone, that concludes Botsman, the sun is in your hand. Episode 2. Um, I really don't know how people close these out. It's a lot harder than it sounds. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye! Oh, guess I'll let you guys see me save, too. Bye-bye now!